Hey everyone, Rayo here, and today I'm starting a new series, Maxing Melee. In this series, I have two simple goals, becoming a better melee PVMer and upgrading my melee PVM setup to best in slot gear and perks. Although the goals are simple on paper, they may prove to be more challenging than they sound. I've always been more on the casual side of the bossing spectrum, but since I've come back to RuneScape 3, I've set my mind on becoming a better player all around. Expensive equipment is a nice and shiny goal itself, but the gear will not make me a better player if I don't put in the effort. In this series, I'll be shooting for better gear, of course, but I'll also be learning new bosses, going for better PRs on bosses that I already know, and over time, trying out more optimized tactics as I get a greater understanding on RuneScape's combat system. This series may not be unique to the masses, but the experience will be new for me as I've rarely pushed my boundaries in my last 17 years playing RuneScape. I also like to document my progress and growth, so why not share it along the way? Welcome to Maxing Melee. Starting off the series, let's go into where I'm starting from. As I mentioned in the intro, I've been playing RuneScape for going on 17 years, so I'm not starting from absolutely nothing. I max combat, but in terms of total GP needed for gear, I'm at a fraction of where I need to be. My current melee startup point is this. Full trim custom fit masterwork, dual wheel drygores and a scythe, amulet of souls, ring of death and a reaper necklace, laceration boots, tier 90 shield, surgeon's ring and ring of vigor, turmoil, bladed dive and double surge, and my current perks are pre-archaeology near best in slot perks. The upgrades that I want to get are the Malevolence Prayer, Sorrow's Godsword, Pterosaur Maul, Dual Kopesh, Essence of Finality, Spear of Annihilation, and Limitless Sigil, which brings the total to about 4.6 bill, not including the perks. As for the perks, I'm just following PVM Encyclopedia's advanced perks loadout recommendations from their Discord. I may not follow their upgrade priority strictly to a T, but I'm basing my path off their current recommendations to give me some direction. Without further ado, let's get into the episode. So what we're going to start doing is just making some money and uh, doing some bossing, maybe learning some new bosses and just trying to save up our gold pouch to make these upgrades. And I might not make them in the specific order that PVME Wiki suggests, uh, just because I do a lot of different bosses and I do Slayer, like I'm a little bit I'm more on the casual side than I am on the uh, the bossing side, but over time I would just like to get all these things that I need. So some of the things I'm probably going to upgrade to first would be the ZGS for sure. That's what I was told is probably one of the better upgrades and I've been getting a little bit more comfortable with using Berserk and stuff, so getting a little bit more comfortable with my melee rotation in general. So ZGS is probably going to be my first upgrade. Uh, the next upgrade I'm probably going to want to make, and this is probably way out of order, is going to be the Malevolence Prayer. I've already gotten Greater Bard and greater flurry and greater fury two of those i got by myself from doing solo ed2 greater barge i ended up buying uh, but the other two i ended up getting myself which is really nice malevolence prayer would just be nice uh for just like slayer uh, like all other bosses where i can't maybe use specific upgrades and such hey clanny um malevolence would just be nice because i could use it everywhere and i don't need to bring any specific item and it's it's just it's just a little bit more convenient for my kind of play style because it's just a buff that doesn't require me to do anything extra other than toggle a different prayer so it's just a little bit ease of play there for me and so starting off with everything here i'm starting off with just like my daily farm runs because if you saw my dailies guide you can see how much money i make from the farm farm runs i'm just going to be going through all my dailies because they're pretty quick to do uh they earn quite a bit of money for very uh low effort and i'm still having my coffee this morning so it's it's just easy for me to do right now. And so this is pretty much how I start every single day when I log on or whenever I do log on. That's it. Not necessarily every single day, but just to get some starter cash while I kind of think about what I want to do. So after I do my dailies, I'm going to see what my Reaper task is. Typically, I'll go and do some pulls on Araxer because I am doing pretty good on the log. Like if we look at my Araxer log, all I need is the, uh, the actual boss pets, Barry and Mallory. And... Like, I've gotten every other drop, so I would really like to complete this log. This is one thing I really want to complete. I'm um, getting close to 1,000 kills. I'm about to hit the fifth threshold here, so I would really love to complete that log. And also the money from the boss is pretty nice. All right, so I just finished up my dailies. I'm going to go ahead and stop by the Invention Guild, check my Alchemizer, see how much money I have, load that back up, and then I'm going to go ahead and sell some of the stuff from my dailies, liquidate a few things, and then maybe head over to World 2, uh manor farm and see if i can sell some of my checked adolescent animals and get a little bit of money because my storm barn is actually filling up pretty pretty quick and it's almost maxed out so i need to clear that out make some money and you can see that i'm starting off with almost 213 mil so let's see where we end up 
All right, so this is a mix of stuff that I've gathered through dailies. I have about, wow, 46 mil in stuff. I didn't realize I had that much money. <laughs> Just kind of like chilling in my bank. Uh, but this is a mix of some of the stuff I've gotten from bossing, some of these things from Slayer, some of these things from like ED2 and uh, just the Black Dragon Egg Unchecked. That's from Manor Farm because I have two sets of uh, Black Dragons in the breeding pin. And then these Zygomites are actually from getting Moschella Mushrooms from the Mushroom Patches in Canifis in Turanwin. Every once in a while, if you've completed the tutorial for Manor Farm, you have a chance at finding these. So this is a nice little boost to farming runs. And then also someone on Reddit, or actually a couple people on Reddit and YouTube in my last video mentioned getting the raw meats from um, Ooglog or Oglog, whatever you call it, where you get the red sandstone to buy out the raw bird meat. So I went ahead and I did that today and that's an extra 500k each day. That's pretty awesome for no effort and it, it doesn't take up like any extra time. So just 500k for free. That's great. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell all the stuff and I'm going to head over to Manor Farm World 2 and see where we end up. All right, so that's a pretty nice bonus. Just sold a royal dragon breeding pair for six mil. Didn't expect to do that, but that's nice. Some just made another trade for dragons on the POF Discord. Nine dragons for 3.3. I think these normally sell for 400k each, but because he's buying them all at once, figured it would just be nice to give him a little bit of a discount. Nice, making some good money. All right, so for the rest of these zygos, I just don't want to really wait around uh, to sell them. I want to do some other things, so I went ahead and I just posted in the Zygomites trade section of the Player Own Farms Discord, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my Reaper assignment and Telos. I actually don't know how to do Telos yet, so I'm going to do a different assignment. That's the only solo assignment I don't know how to do. Vindicta and Gorvac. Heck yes, I love doing this boss. It's just so nice and easy. And it's nice for me to practice full manual. And so we can see I ended up making all the way up to 269 mil, which is awesome. That's actually very awesome. I made a lot more than I thought today. Let's go ahead and move on over to Vindicta and Gorvac and see how we do there. All right, so this is going to be the setup that I'm going in with. I have a uh, full tier 92 masterwork. I have my Drygore, like well, tier 90 set, Amulet of Souls, Luck of the Dwarves to just swap back on for, for the chance of getting a rare drop or increasing the chance of getting a rare drop. And I changed out my scrim because I, I never really used the vamp scrim uh, to an illuminated book of war just for a little bit of extra damage and this also increases the the affinity value of the boss as well so that should help me hit and that should um the little extra damage from this should also help to just do a little bit of extra damage to vindicta and then i have some armor spikes just regular i haven't increased these to the next tier yet vulnerability bombs and then just some stuff to help me do a decent dps rotation just to kind of get better at um just like melee with full manual and just getting used to a berserk rotation if we can get a nice pr today that would be sweet really just hoping for like a dragon rider lance or even a crest maybe even the pet i wouldn't mind finishing some logs either ideally some money and just maybe cherry on the cherry on the uh what is it cherry on the cake <laughs> whatever it's called icing on the cake would be uh, a new pr All right i'm also not gonna like go full on with uh this like i'm not gonna use like the best in slot uh, auras or anything. This first kill, I'm just going to be building adrenaline, and then I'll go into the next kill with uh, a berserk rotation and try it out there. I'm not going to waste any supplies here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro. Yes, dude. Oh, that is sick. First kill. Holy crap, bro. That is sick. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Major, major, major drop there. Oh, that was so great. All right, I'm not going to do a full rotation here either because I just got so stoked that uh, <laughs> I fell below 100%. Bro, that is so sick. All right, so we got the crest. Now, this next pool, I'm going to try and do a full on rotation. Let me go ahead and make sure I am good to go. All right, it's going to be a little bit rough, but we're going to try it out. All right. So far, so good. I don't know if I did this right. I think I'm missing something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think I should have held that bleed. Ah, dang it. I don't think I'm going to hit the PR there. can't remember what I did for the PR. I may have just gotten like really lucky or something because I don't remember going all like this advanced. All right, we're going to try and do the PR again. We're going to start off at an ID adrenaline this time, so. 
We'll just see how this goes. All right, got the Vuln Bomb. Got the bleed. It'd be nice if that actually saved my adrenaline, but not too fortunate this time. All right, replenishment. Gonna just ride this out a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay. Hopefully that can heal me. Ah, dang it. Whatever. Bleed. Ah, good timing on that bleed. There we go. See if we can get lucky with the proc here. Ah, didn't make the PR. All right, let's see if we can do it this time. Oh, I'm not even potted up. Oh, that is the worst. Ay <laughs> ay ay, dude. I mean, this kill's going really well. If I ended up if I end up getting it this kill, I'm going to be ashamed. Not ashamed. I'm going to be happy. But how long was I not potted up? <laughs> oh no, okay. I'm not going to get the PR here, but that's fine. How do I accidentally get a PR? How do I accidentally do that? I didn't even use. I mean, I'll take it. 106, that's fine. That's an obviously that's an improvement for me because I got a new PR. Let's see if I can do better this time though. Oh, that's this is not gonna be a PR. I just messed up. Ah. Oh, nice, nice. I shaved off five seconds. That's nice. 101, man. Okay, and I even didn't start, I didn't even start with 100% uh, adrenaline. So, I am happy with that. I shaved off quite a good amount of time today. Quite a good amount of time. And I'm still learning full manual, so I will definitely take this. Alright, so that finishes up my Vindy trip, my Reaper assignment for Vindy. So, let me go ahead and I'm gonna do maybe like a half hour of Rex and see what we can get. But before we do that, let's just see how much we made. We made... I am so stoked that I got that crest on the very first drop. What in the world, dude? What in the world? 38.5 mil. That is sick. That is major, 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 major. All right, let's go ahead and gear for racks. All right, so for racks, we need the leg top and bottom. Um, a fang would be awesome. I'd be really happy with a fang. I think anyone would be happy with a fang. But let's go ahead and... Give this a whirl. This is our first kill of the day, so these are typically pretty laid back. There's the spider spawns. Try and get the mirror back as much as possible. Oh, I might die. Maybe not too rough. I think I'm doing all right. I kind of recovered a little bit. I think I'm just tryharding a little too much. There we go. Just got to clear these out. That was a nice heal. Very lucky heal, I should say. Ooh, yeah. Using a lot of food here. You just lose. You just use so much food on this part if you're not professional pvm or like me <laughs> let me rephrase that if you are a subpar pvm -er <laughs> like me i might die i think it's the third time i said i might die and i didn't die so i think i'm doing all right <laughs> oh what am i doing bro on racks i have to go revolution because if i'm trying to do all these prayer switches while trying to do damage it's just way too much for me to focus on not the greatest drop but let's go ahead and give it another shot Ugh, not too great. Uh, another 200k drop. Oh, not too bad. Some land times. Those are always good for replenishing on some uh, overload. Another benefit is that I really didn't use any supplies there except for a dose of super restore. Of course, the potions and stuff that I had to like for buffs. And uh, but yeah, I only used one food. That's a really, really, really good feeling, especially on minion path because that just does so much damage. So that was a pretty clean kill by my standards, at least. That was a very, very close kill. I was getting slaughtered by the mirror back. Oh, yes. Three overloads and three serenic scales. Dude, that is great. That is so high value. Right, that's the final kill of the day. Let's see what we get. Magic locked. Oh, but 14 Cerablask? Cera flasks. So that's very, very awesome. 750k, dude. Dude, we made some money today. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. We just put a pretty decent dent into our savings. So let's go ahead and move on over to the GE and let's just sell a few more things that we got and see where we end up.
We started today out on 212 mil and then we ended on 309. That was just unexpected. To be fair, a majority of that progress was money that has just kind of stockpiled over the past few weeks. Maybe the past week or so when it comes to dailies with farm runs and all that stuff. Because I don't sell everything every single day. I just let it accumulate. And some of the things I don't even sell, like the flasks, because I don't even make those actively. I just kind of do those in my free time. But that Crest of Zaros drop was just icing on the cake. And then the cherry on top was the new PB at Vindicta and Gorvex. So I'm really pleased with the progress we made today. That's all I have for you today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the first episode to my latest series, Maxing Melee. It's a journey I've really been looking forward to for a while now, and I'm excited to see where I end up in the future, even just a few months down the line. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Those small actions help this channel immensely and are always appreciated. I also stream my progress over on Twitch. If you'd like to catch me live, you can follow the link in the video description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Rayo, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.